trust that you're having a good day. Today, I want to share this good feeling audio. It's not very long, but if you uh, listen to it carefully, it explains everything you ever wanted to know what is going on. All right, let's go for it. Using headphones or earphones will enhance your pleasure. Wishing you a great day. Enjoy and chill. Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? You are knowing what you are wanting? You are understanding that you are the creator of your experience? You are among the rare humans who have come to appreciate the contrast of your time and place? Oh yes, oh yes. More contrast. You are understanding that you are vibrational beings and that you are living in a vibrational universe and the basis of this creative haven is law of attraction. Are you beginning to understand that what you are thinking and what you are feeling and what you are getting is always a vibrational match? As we visit with our physical friends and we talk about this vibrational universe in which you are focused, sometimes, especially in the beginning of the discussion, the idea of being vibrational beings feels a little uncomfortable, even though you are magnificent vibrational beings. You are much more vibrational. You are much more energy. You are much more non-physical, meaning non-seen, non-heard, non-smelled, non-tasted, non-touched energy than you are the flesh, blood, and bone beings that you see. But you have done such an extraordinary job of evolving to this place of being masterful interpreters of vibration through your physical senses, that you do not even realize that you are doing it. You are vibrational beings, and you are interpreting through your senses. What you see with your eyes is a vibrational interpretation. What you hear with your ears is a vibrational interpretation. Even what you smell with your nose, or taste with your tongue, or feel with your fingertips, this is all because of your ability to interpret vibration. And because you were born interpreting. You tend to now conclude that what I interpret with my physical senses is reality. And what we are wanting to assist you in understanding and coming to as a result of our interaction here today is that you have the ability to interpret vibration far, far, far beyond these physical senses. And when you begin to attempt to sense vibration from that broader interpreter, which we would call your emotional center, then you begin to get a true reading of who you are. Then, and really only then, do you begin to understand the relationship that you have between yourselves and the non-physical energy. You are extensions of non-physical energy. You stand here in these physical bodies as extensions of much broader, older, wiser knowing. And so as you are projected here in this leading edge and we really mean that. You are truly leading edge creators on the leading edge of thought. As you stand here in this leading edge environment, perceiving the contrast of this time-space reality, out of that which you are perceiving, out of the contrast that you are giving your attention to, you continue to conclude or to determine new things. And as a new idea or a new desire is determined within you, the non-physical energy that creates all things comes forth in answer to that. In your physical environment, you have a phrase that we hear from you often that many of you say with your words but do not truly understand with the whole of your being. And that is, ask and it is given. For there are no more perfect words that we ever hear you speak that speak to the basis of this universe in the way that we know it to be. Because when any perceiver, whether you are a full-fledged, magnificent, functioning human, 
or whether you are the perspective of a cell in your body or the amoeba in the ocean, when any perceiver concludes non-physical energy comes forth to answer that conclusion. In other words, no matter where you stand, a preference is born within you. You cannot stop this preference from happening. You cannot stop determining. You cannot stop perceiving and evaluating. And because everything in the universe is selfishly oriented, you cannot stop but conclude your preference. And as that preference is concluded within you, whether you speak it with your words or not, in that moment, non-physical energy comes forth in answer to it. And the evolution of your species, the evolution of all that you know, comes forth from that basis. We are all part of a universe that is attraction-based. There is no assertion. And what the attraction means is that everything is coming to you. Nothing can be pushed away from you. There is only inclusion. There can be no exclusion. And what that means to you in a very personal sense is that when you look out into the contrast and you see those things that you would like to have in your experience and you see something wonderful and you say, oh, yes, I'd like some of that, by your attention to it, not by your words, yes, by your attention to it, you include it in your vibration. When you see something not wanted and you look at this awful thing and you say, no, no, I want not that, get that away from me, by your attention to it, not by your words, you are including it in your vibration. So it turns out in this vibrational universe, there is no such thing as no. There is only yes. It is a good idea to begin yesing your way through experience because when you are evaluating the contrast, you cannot help but notice what you do not want. That's part of your discerning process. But once you've identified what it is that you do want, then you would serve yourself very well if you would turn your full attention to the conclusion or the yes that you have decided and give your attention to that. So here you are, leading edge creators, true extensions of non-physical energy. And we want, more than all other things put together, for you to understand your full relationship with who you are. We would like you to begin to feel that you are extensions of this source energy. And we would like to encourage you to begin to pay attention to the way that you feel in order to understand whether you are in this moment allowing the fullness of who you are to flow through you or not. If you are allowing the fullness of who you are to flow through you, you feel clear, you feel good, you feel eagerness, you feel enthusiasm, you feel joy, you feel appreciation, you feel what you would call love. If you are not allowing the fullness of who you are to flow through, then you might feel something that you would call aggravation or frustration or disappointment or blame or guilt or even hatred or strong depression. In other words, the emotions that you feel are your true indicator of your connection to this source energy. So, I want to talk just for a moment about this emotional guidance system that is within you. Because once you understand what your emotions are giving you, then you will never again in any moment not know what your relationship is with that source energy. When you feel, feel with us for a moment, a sort of range of emotions. When you feel the feeling that you would call passion, what passion means is you are in this moment a true extension of the non-physical energy that is you. In other words, when you feel the feeling of passion, what passion means is something in your environment has caused you to focus or conclude a very clear desire. In other words, when you feel a feeling like passion, it means there's strong wanting going on within you. And in the feeling of passion, it means that there are no contradictory thoughts within you that are not allowing the desire to flow fully through you. When you feel a strong emotion like hate or rage or strong depression, any of those strong negative emotions, what that means relative to your desire factor is you still have a very strong desire going on within you. But the feeling of strong negative emotion means you are in this moment holding a thought, you have included some thoughts that are not vibrationally same as the desire that you hold. So what that means is you are including vibrations that are serving as resistance that are not allowing the fullness of who you are to flow through you. It is important to understand in this vibrationally based universe that is based on the law of attraction that 
There is no such thing as exclusion. There is no such thing as pushing something away. And so that means every time you look at something and you gather great energy as you say, I really, really, really do not want that, what you're actually doing is holding yourself really, 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 really in vibrational harmony with this thing you do not want. So you have set up a resistance factor within you that is disallowing the fullness of that which would be there otherwise. For some time we've been calling this gathering the science of deliberate creation. And we like this title very much because it, it speaks to this ongoing study that you are all about. It speaks to this willingness to continue to take the thought beyond that which it has been before. But recently if we've been adding a, an equal and very important co-title to this gathering. And this speaks more to what you are about and the emphasis that if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would be applying to this work. And we are calling it the art of allowing because that's really what your creating is about. It is about you finding a way to hold yourself in vibrational harmony with the well-being that is natural to you so that the energy that creates worlds or that God force or creative life force or whatever it is you're wanting to call it can flow through you in a non-resisted way. We're calling this the, the art of allowing. If you wanted to be more literal about it, you could say this is the art of letting it in. It's the art of letting in the well-being, letting in the clarity, letting in the health, letting in the well-being that is natural unto me. We want very much for you to get a sense of that because it is not only the basis of this seminar, it is the basis of your physical experience. Well-being is your legacy. Well-being is your promise. You are beings that are promised. You know it. You are promised well-being. There is not a source of anything other than well-being. There is no source of sickness. Oh, you could find a thought that causes you to include a vibration that sets up resistance within you that does not allow the well-being that is natural. And as enough of you do it, you begin to give it titles or labels and you begin to say, this is sickness, this is sickness. There's a whole pile of sickness over there. Some will say to us, Abraham, don't tell us there is not sickness. And we say, we did not say that there are not those who are sick. But what we do say is there is no source of sickness. In other words, there may be those who are not letting wellness in. And if enough people do it, then it may be that you will give it all kinds of labels and all kinds of piles and pigeonholes and statistics until you come to believe that there are sources of things not wanted. But we say there is not a source of sickness. There is only the not letting in the wellness that would be there.